Hey, welcome to my channel, guys. I'm Jerry. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, you like this content. This is a sawmill channel, normally a forestry channel, things that we do outside. Uh, and I do a lot of things outside. I, in fact, outside about 750 feet from the house, I have a little cabin slash shooting shack, a deer blind, basically. A company, this company, reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to do a review on this. Two years ago, we ended up getting fiber optics out here, and we're rural. And prior to that, we always used satellite internet, and it was extremely slow, one, two meg. We're at about 150 to 200 meg download speeds now. And since we've gotten that, I've always wanted to get internet back to my man cabin, my man shack. But they reached out to me, and they sent me this wireless bridge. And what is this? This is supposed to get my internet from my house, shoot it across the, the backyard to that uh, shooting shack, that little man cabin. And uh, they claim it's super easy to set up. Along with this, I also bought a router for it back there. This is the router I bought. Uh, just a uh, AC 1200 TP Link mesh Wi Fi router. So, my plan is to hook this router, which I've already configured, to this wireless bridge, and I'm going to set it up in the house here, make sure everything works before we set it up outside. So, that's all configured. I can get on the Wi Fi on that. I don't have internet, obviously, right now with it, right? Until I get this to it. So, let's see what happens. Let's open this up. Now, this box came damaged. You may have seen it in the opening. If I showed it, I don't know if I showed it or not, but <laughs> when the girl dropped it off, she dropped it. Made a, a racket. But it appears like everything's going to be okay. I did peek in here. So let's open it up. See what we have. All right, there's one of the antennas. The other antenna. Uh, a guide, I guess that would be. Right, it's just the divider. This is just loose and surface stuff. A couple mounting plates, it looks like. All right, let's see how those are gonna work already. A couple little land cables. Ain't that strange, no name on the box. But that's all right. It does have the name right on the, the user manual. So this is Ulna, U, Ulna, U-L-N-A, wireless bridge, model CPE609P. I'll leave a link in the description for this. And let's take a look at it. Well, let's open this all up first. Yeah. Pretty simple. These obviously are going to go in here, it looks like. This is going to click in. Okay, yeah, simple. Yep, then you'll, you'll adjust this to get it where you need it to be. Uh, so let's put that one there. This one here. What I understand, one has to be the slave and one has to be the master. So let's open the, well, let's see what else is in these. I think these should be the power over ethernet, POE. Yep, that's exactly what those are. POE LAN. So you do have power over ethernet. That's how these get powered up is over the, uh, through the ethernet cable. All right. POE. So we have two of these, one for each. And like I said, I do have power back there. I have a solar generator. So I do have hardline Cat5. I'm upstairs in my house, and I'm planning on mounting it up here. I do have Cat5 cable all the way out here, LAN cable. So that's not a problem here. We have a switch in the basement. The router's in the office. Goes down to the basement with a switch. Then from the switch up to our LAN jack with Cat5 cable. So we could hardwire anything in that we're on the internet. And that's exactly how I'm going to do this. That's one cable. It's 
So I'm going to look through the, the instructions. Well, let me show you real quick here. So we have, I don't, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, let me get a let me get a little pointer. All right, we have a DC power going in. Uh, obviously, we don't need that with the PoE. We have a LAN cable. What does that say? 1,000 megabytes MPS megabytes per second. This port we have the AB switch, mast and slave. I believe that's for. We have another LAN. POE cable port and a reset button. DC LAN cable, the switch with the LED for the master slave, another LAN cable port and a reset button. They're both identical. I'm not technologically savvy. <laughs> uh, I do, I can run computers and do basic network stuff, so I think this won't be too prob too big of a problem for me. Yeah. The AB button, pushing the A to A, indicates that the bridge acts as the master. All right, let's make sure that we're all set there. Let's get these switched over. I'll actually use this. Okay. <laughs> the letters are actually backwards. They got B and A, but so be it. So that's it. So it looks like this is going to be my master. Let's switch this one to B. All right, and now that's on B. All right, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do this. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let's see, POE. This is going to have to be power over Ethernet this way. One there. Let's put one in this one. So what I mentioned, I'm just going to shoot them across the room here. We're only going to be about 15 feet apart. So here's A. So we're going to plug that in. Plug it in on this side. I don't think it matters. Okay. Uh, where can I put this? Let's set this up right here maybe. I don't think that plastic will hurt anything right there. I do have my Wi-Fi router right there, as you see. So I'm gonna plug this in right here. So I do have that Wi-Fi router all set up. I believe I just read that it has to connect with each other. So it might take a minute. All right, it says to wait two minutes and it's all powered up. We have all our lights, so they are talking to each other. <laughs> That's, that was really easy, very easy. Let me see, let's go check the other one. A couple things we have to do now, we have to get them on the correct channels, so they're on the same channel. One through F, so let's get that. Okay. Okay. Let's go set the other one. So what I'm doing is I'm setting the channels now so they're on the same channel, guys. That's just a little button, you push until they're the same. All right, let's see what happens now. They're, all, they're both on the same channel. So I'm going to come from this jack. And I'm just going to plug this in the back here. Okay. So internet should be coming to this one. Okay, let's plug in. Now I think it says wait about five minutes. So we'll give it a few minutes here. All right, I'm connected right now to the house router. So I'm gonna see how fast it is. And you know what? I believe it's those are all connected now because that router says it has internet. Sweet. So first I'm gonna connect to the house router. That was very simple. So let's connect to the house router. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a screen record and so you can see the speeds we're getting. Start. Okay. So you can see we're on. Oop. I don't know what that does. <clears throat> okay. You can see we're on Bigelow Woodcraft connected. So let's see what our speed is on that. 
a little woodcraft. So we're going to go to a Google speed test. Run speed test. That just seems awfully slow. Usually we're 150 to 200. Let's do, we're going to run that again. Test again. There we go. That's the speeds we're usually looking for. All right, 174, 175. Okay, now let's look at it. Go to here. So that new router I called the Fairbanks. So we're calling that the Fairbanks. Let's go to the 5G. That should be the fastest one. It says we're connected and have internet. So that means that antenna is beaming the internet to that antenna right to that router over there, right behind you. Back to Google speed test. Okay, Tony's tractor. All right, Google speed test. Whew. Smoking fast. So you can see we have very good internet coming through that. Now let me show you again what we have and uh, then it's just a matter of getting it outside. Very pleased, 168 meg download. And really, we don't play games. All we do is uh, TV and a computer. We don't have a laptop or anything like that. We have an old desk station. I also wanted to run some internet cameras, so this will be interesting. This will actually be fantastic. So this is the slave. And this is just connected in the back. I had to set this up. I believe they call it bridge mode. That cable comes to this antenna plugged into the back. So you can see we're not plugged into the wall at all. We're not hard lined in. We're just hard lined into that antenna. That antenna is plugged into the regular 120 outlet with power provided by this plug into the antenna. Let's look at the other side. Power over Ethernet plug. In the 120 coming from there into the back of the antenna. We're both on the same frequency and our channel. And then this LAN cable coming from the socket, which is connected to, I mentioned before, hardwired with Cat5 down to the switch in the basement, back upstairs to the router, where it comes in from the house from our, uh, uh, our fiber optic. So we have a fiber optic slash modem router down there. All the lights are on, so that's telling me it's working. All right. So just to recap, I do use this, I'm using this router, it's just a cheap router off of Amazon. I'll put the link to this as well. This wasn't provided, I did purchase this. We used the Alna wireless bridge with those two antennas. Shipping was really quick and this is the hardware that came with it. So we can mount it to a pole. You set one up in master, one up in slave. The slave will have the router back at my man shack, my shooting shack, my slash my cabin. The slave will be back there. The master will be mounted on the house here. Very simple to set up. That didn't take me long at all. All I gotta do now is just mount it and point them towards each other. They're also weatherproof, so they can be mounted straight outside. Uh, as for programming this thing, 
there really wasn't much to program. They show you different configurations. Like I said, I'll leave a link to these wireless bridges in the description below. I'll also leave a link to that TP AC 1200, TP Link AC 1200 uh, mesh Wi Fi router as well. Okay, guys, let's get this set up and see how it goes. You can see it right there. I do have it mounted. And I do have line of sight through the forest. And we have excellent internet. Let me show you how I have it tucked away here. I just have it mounted on, on the window because I couldn't get, really get too much of a line of sight. We're all hooked up. I'm very pleased with this. I'm gonna do a speed test and I'll show it to you right now. Our YouTube, our internet TV is working. Very fast. Even faster than I showed you at the beginning. So I'm very pleased. 191 download. That's fast. Like I mentioned, we do have uh, fiber optic up at the house. 79.3 upload. I mentioned, I think I was 750 feet. It ended up being not about 900 feet due to the fact that I had to, I couldn't put the antenna where I needed to put it. So I had to move it around to the other side of the house. You need a line of sight. I had to clear some branches and some trees and I'm gonna, over the course of the winter, I'll open it up a little bit more. No big trees are in the way though, so that's very good. Am I pleased? Absolutely. Let's check the TV now. Let me show you what we have here. Okay. So you can see I have it on YouTube right now. Hey, if you see your channel up there, let me know. Yeah, it looks like it's all working fine. Let's just try a quick movie here. I guess this video would be kind of like an installation and a review, but yes, I highly recommend this. We'll see how it holds up. They claim it's weatherproof. So if anything changes, I will give you an update. But for now, I'm very happy. It's been in this building for 24 hours and I've had no issues. So, the Ulna peer-to-peer -peer wireless bridge solved my problems of getting internet back here. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you out here at the shooting shack or the mill or wherever we see you next time. Take care.